Welcome to my reptile room. Welcome to Jurassic Park. So today, I've officially peaked. I've got six reptiles all crammed into this room. They're each in pretty good enclosures. We're trying to improve the quality of our enclosures. We got a new ball python. If you've been subscribed and keeping up with the channel, you've probably seen Lucy's episode. But today we're going to be feeding every single reptile in this room. And we're going to start off with my Kenyan Sambo right there, right there, Nyoka. I thought out two pinkies for him. He's only two months old. He's a little, little snake. I'm handling Gizmo, my leopard gecko. He's doing pretty good. I have the mice thawing out in the bathroom. Let's get to feeding Nyoka. All right, so just a warning ahead of time for this feeding video. If you're sensitive to the, the kind of content of snakes eating frozen thawed rodents, don't watch this video. And if you're sensitive to reptiles eating live insects, skip over this video. So maybe subscribe and watch some of the other channels so I still get your support. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tongue feed my snake. Whoa! And there he goes! The boa feast! Just to sign out here, Kenyan sand boas are supposed to constrict their prey. That's how you know he's my boa constrictor. Okay, so right now I'm feeding my fish. Right in this tank, which is a 10 gallon. Got a pretty cool background. Two java ferns, three anubius plants. Hopefully we'll add some more plants in the future. Two nearite snails, eight white cloud minnows, and one big fat blue gourami. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another little pinch of fish food. You see, this is my nutritional mix. That's what I call a nutritional mix, which is a blend of fish flakes, the classic fish flakes, along with, along with freeze-dried blood worms. So we fed the 10 gallon tank, now let's go feed the 20 gallon. 
All right, so right here is my Amazon 20 gallon tank. This tank was made to represent the Amazon River Basin. The fish, which are three giant danios, three, four neon tetras, one, two, three, four neon tetras, and a host of little plants and Amazon tree fern and Amazon sword sword plants, I think that's what they're called. So let's go and feed this tank. Now first of all the danios go crazy for the food. They start a feeding frenzy. And then with all this commotion, some of the stuff gets sent down where the tetras can go and eat. So there's all this movement going around. There's fish popping up at the surface. There's fish all going around everywhere. There's fish, there's one that's eating. So they're all eating, they're all moving around. Big commotion. Now let's go and add a little bit more food to the mix. This is the same nutritional blend. This is the same nutritional blend that I made with freeze dried blood worms and fish flakes. And these fish are loving it. They love them both. This channel may be suited on me and my reptile themed adventures, yet for me fish are still fascinating animals too. Gizmo is definitely going to get an enclosure upgrade. I checked, tried to check on her today. Not in here. <laughs> I really hope that you like that feeding video. I, remember, I post new videos every week, so you may want to consider subscribing if you like the content I showed today. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. But just to t inform you on what just what you saw with Lucy, the ball python eating, is if you've never cared for or kept a ball python, then you have no idea how hard it is or the trouble you have to go through to get them to eat. This was the, this was the third try, three tries. The other two she had not she had not eaten. I've seen her get really close, then she just backs off for no reason. But this time I'm proud to announce that she finally ate. I hope we can leave it on that good note. Remember, I post weekly. So see you next week.